it's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. I was scrolling through YouTube to see what music had dropped today, and I came across some Ariana Grande. It's called We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. And we did a reaction to her not that long ago. It was the first song I've ever done a reaction to on my channel. I thought it was pretty dope. And I'm not that familiar with her music, but since I liked it, I figured now's a better time than any to dive into some more. So let's see what she's doing with this one. It's interesting. Remove this person forever from your memory. I wish we could do that. Why do I feel like that's gonna actually be a thing in the future? The more that I think about it, this is probably gonna be reality at some point. Peaches? Oh, me. The dog is right here. Thank you. She said, Peaches? Okay, that was dope. How they put the heart monitor on her finger and then the beat of it started to bring in the actual drop. Okay, that's 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 kind of dope. I, I that yeah, that's creative. How could you ever even try? I don't wanna tiptoe, but I don't wanna hide, but I don't wanna feed this monstrous fire. Just wanna let this story die And I'll be alright We can't be friends But I'd like to just be eaten You cling to your papers and pens Wait until you like me again Wait for your love She's got a beautiful voice Me and my truth, we sit in silence. Mm -hmm. Baby girl, it's just me and you. Cause I don't wanna argue, but I don't wanna fight. My tongue, yeah, I think I'd rather die. You got me misunderstood, but at least I look. so this is an interesting song so basically what they're saying is we've been in a relationship like i love you we can't just be friends and then she goes on to say something like, I'll wait for you to, or not, I'll wait for you, but wait until you like me again. Almost like if we're going to reconnect in any way, it's going to be back into this relationship because there's no way that we can be friends. And this is an interesting topic that I've talked about quite a bit in, in some videos in the past where, like, it just kind of depends on you as a person. Obviously, it depends on the relationship, what caused you guys to break up, like how deep the relationship was maybe. But for me personally, I, I feel like I could easily be friends with all the people that I've dated in the past. The only reason that I'm not is that they're just not those type of people. Like not, not that, you know, they're bad people or anything like that, but they just don't want to keep that connection. Right. They're like, if we're not dating, if we're not together, then we're apart. Like we go our separate ways and I get that, but it's like, man, it's just so wild to me to think of it like that because you spend so much time with a person, even if the relationships was six months, a year, a couple of years, obviously the longer, the more, you know, you fall in love, the more that you have a connection to that person and, and, and kind of want them in your life. And I get that for some people, it's just not easy, right? It's not easy to turn off the relationship switch and just talk to this person and be friends with them. And so for them, it's easier to just completely separate, but it's like, man, like we share memories. We go and do things for the first time together. We have different stuff that we like to talk about together. Like, there's just all these things surrounding it. And then all of a sudden, because a few things may happen or, you know, we start to grow apart a little bit, it just becomes like, all right, well, see you in the next life. Like you go your way, I'll go my way. And we're going to pretend that we never existed. Like, I mean, you know, in, in your head, like you still know that that person was there and maybe you learned something from that relationship and you take some stuff with you. But overall, it's like you go from being 
as close as people can possibly be, sharing pretty much everything, emotions, uh, space, you know, conversation, dreams, um, fears, goals, like all of that, like you share all of this with that person. And then all of a sudden one day it's like they don't exist in your life anymore. They go a completely separate direction and you just don't care about any of that anymore. To me, that just seems so wild, but like I, I get it. And I'm, I'd never try to force myself into somebody's life to be their friend, but all the people that I've dated, like I would love to have some kind of a connection with them. Even if it's just like we talk once a month, just to check in or every once a year, twice a year, like, Hey, how you been lately? Da, 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 da. Like, just because like there, there are certain things that I've shared with a person or certain connections I had with them that I may never have with somebody else. doesn't mean I can't fall in love with someone else and be happy, but like, there's just certain things cause everybody's uniquely themselves. Right. And so I don't know. I don't, maybe I'm crazy about this, but that's just the way that I feel about it. But I can also understand from the other aspect where it's like, I, I can't just be friends with you. Right. Like I had a love for you and it's either that or it's not. And I can, I can understand that and I can respect that. It's just, I am a little bit different. I feel differently about that. talk about for quite a while because that is a really interesting thought that i never really considered before in my life so that's them walking past each other later on in life i assume and that's how it would be right it's like you don't know this person anymore you just act like ah i guess it is what it is but either way the concept of the beginning because i already kind of talked about the whole you know I would like to be friends with people. I get that people don't, and I can completely respect that. But the thought process of the um, the beginning where it's like you go into an office and, you know, you sign these papers and stuff, and they help you just delete the memories of this person. And you got to agree that you're okay with the fact that they're going to delete those memories. Would you go through with that? Would, would like I've, Obviously, there's some places that people would be comfortable doing that with. Um, or I, I don't know why I said some places. Like, there's some people that those would be comfortable doing that with because like you had bad experiences, right? And that pain, maybe you feel like altered you in ways where you didn't really get stuff out of it. You didn't learn. You didn't take anything really positive with you. It was more so negative, which I mean, you could also learn from and know what to look out for, but sometimes that shit could really mess you up. So you'd be like, you know what? I'd rather just forget those memories, especially if it would change this, this fear of trust that I have or, you know, whatever it is that it did to you. But at the same time, though, right, like those memories and everything that you've been through is kind of what, what molds you and makes you the person that you are. So I guess if you're not happy with who you are, then you feel like maybe I need to get rid of some of these memories to, to pull some of these bad habits away from me to, to you know, my, my thought process is completely effed up because of this situation. So I need to get rid of it. But I feel like that's going to be a thing at some point. And uh, it's kind of scary to think that you might be able to one day just go somewhere and they're going to be like, you know what, we'll just delete these memories from your brain. But it seems like it's it seems like a possibility at this point where technology is at and all the things that we have going on. It just doesn't surprise me that that might actually be something people do in the future. 
where they're like, you know what? I had a bad day today. Let me just, let me just go sh- erase it. Maybe maybe you get far enough in the future, 100, 200, 300 years or whatever, to the point where you just have a little device at your house and you just 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 pull those memories out at the end of the day if there's some shit you don't want to remember. Like I don't know. It just it just seems wild, but at the same time, I, I feel like anything is possible at this point. I mean, one day we had a, a buggy and and a horse and shit like that, right? And now we're flying planes across the ocean and doing all sorts of wild shit that people would have never thought was ever going to be possible. So I, at this point, it's like, who knows, right? Like, yeah, who, who knows? So not my best reaction. I feel like I stumbled over everything I wanted to say. So I apologize for that. But this was dope. As far as the actual singing and stuff, this this woman has an amazing voice, like absolutely beautiful voice. And I like the topics that she's uh, that she's in her songs at least over the last two videos that we've checked out so i'm down to check out some more but you guys comment below let me know what you guys want to see whether it's ariana grande somebody else i'm here for it and i'll catch you in the next one homies